quickly recap on that quick fall with this buck saw and just kind of let you guys know how to prep the saw before felling a tree like this and just overall how to fell it. So some quick notes I do want to note. Uh, one thing you'll probably notice because that went over so easy is one, this was a pretty small tree and two, this was a completely dead tree. I didn't want to take down a gigantic live tree. Just for this example video, uh, just for this how-to, I didn't want to, you know, waste a really nice tree for this. Um, but just something quick that would demonstrate the point of how to fell a tree with a bucking saw. Of course, when you're felling a tree with a bucking saw, it's not going to be the largest of timbers that you're going to be felling with this. Uh, I found with this personal one, this is a 24 inch blade, that its cap is about five and a half inches for felling a tree. Uh, anything past that the weight of the tree when it starts to be pushed back like in the wind or just natural rock of the tree actually pins the blade so definitely don't One push it you know, is definitely don't push the saws bucking saws past their point do understand that they do have a limitation when falling trees um, with that noted uh, i want to go into how to set up the saw really you don't have to do anything too special with the saw just assemble it if it's not assembled do make sure, if you can, uh, one of the big things when felling a tree with a bucking saw is since there will be a lot of lateral torque on the blade, you will have to tighten it down more than a normal just bucking a piece of wood. Uh, the blade just has to be tight enough, but when actually felling a tree, since you're cutting across the tree, it actually has to be tightened down quite a bit more, and so do keep in mind that you, if at all possible, you will need to put as much tension as you can on your saw when felling trees because of that lateral. So as far as felling a tree goes, hopefully that video was pretty clear. If not, it's a lot like felling a tree with a chainsaw. You just make your face cut and your flat cut here and then your inverted cut there and then just a back cut. And with this tree, just to save a little bit of time, I just pushed it over but um, it would have eventually fallen on its own I did want to leave a little bit of hinge wood here so hopefully you guys can see there's about depending on where you look anywhere from about a quarter inch to about three quarters of an inch of hinge wood uh, really this could get away with about a quarter inch across with uh, for hinge wood because it's dead and it's so small um, it really doesn't weigh that much but uh, you will want to keep a very close eye on your hinge wood. I think Wrangler Star said it really best. The hinge wood controls the tree when it falls. And hopefully you guys will see when this tree went over, it did not twist, it did not rotate, it did nothing of this likes. And that's because this hinge wood, even though dead, the hinge wood still played an important role for felling this tree. If you guys tree. like that short, more tutorial-like video, I know some people just go out with buck saws, myself included. Uh, sometimes I'll just go out with just a buck saw or maybe an axe and a buck saw. And sometimes uh, using the buck saw can be more efficient to fell a tree. So uh, that is a quick tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and tell me what your thoughts are about felling trees with a buck saw. Uh, and like I said, hopefully you gained something from this. And I'm out.